then we um, booked the studio for November 2018. Uh, and that was a studio called Park Studios, which I was well aware of and familiar with, but I figured it was kind of out of our league because it was run by a Swedish pop band called Kent back in the day. And I figured it was simply too expensive for, uh, for us. But it wasn't. I got in touch with them and the owner, the guy who runs the studio now is called Stefan, Stefan Bullman. Uh, and he, uh, I wasn't so familiar with his work. He's mainly been working with pop bands and, and not necessarily metal bands really. Uh, but I like that. I like to work with people from, from a different genre. Otherwise, you kind of you you stay in the comfort zone, and you could, it's going to end up sounding comfortable. And I wanted uncomfortable a little bit, and something new, a new input, I guess. Uh, so we recorded the record there together with Stefan, and I produced uh, during I don't know a month, three weeks a month, off and on. Um, and I did, we, we did everything there from scratch. Um, and I also recorded an English vocal to, to the same record. I was a bit afraid that maybe the language, Swedish language, would be a barrier between this record and fans who didn't like that. So I felt I was so happy with uh, the music, I wanted people to hear it. And it would be a shame if people passed on this record just because they don't understand what I'm singing. So there's an English version too, but my version is the Swedish version, that's the original version, and what I think is the best version. Um, finished the recording uh, in January, I think, um, and started mixing, Stefan Mix, together with me, a regular stereo mix, mix and that was fun. And once that was done, of course, the next step of the recording is, uh, is mastering. And I'm not really, I don't really know what mastering is, to be honest. I've been questioning that. And we even left the previous record, Sorceress, unmastered. Um, but I figured, okay, let's, let's give it a go. And we booked Abbey Road, a guy called Jeff Pesh, who I wasn't really familiar with. I checked him out, like, what's he done? And it was like Spice Girls, Kali Minogue, uh, Mexican pop music, uh, lots of pop. But he also done like a Motorhead record, and he did a Page Plant record, and he done Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. So I figured, I mean, it's a mastering guy, they're just gonna get their levels in order and see that everything is, is fine and dandy. And he was very gentle with the mastering, so it wasn't. A massive difference. It just raised the volume a little bit, put some extra high end on, and obviously sequenced the songs in the right order. The silence between the songs is very important to me for some reason. Uh, so we got that down, and uh, then we were finished, and we have a new album in Calda Venom. It's called.